The gridlock in the nation's capital has been broken, and as we come on the air, a compromise bill has been passed in the House. The nation will not default on its debts tomorrow, and I want to bring in John Carl, who covers Congress for us, because it was such a remarkable scene on the House floor tonight when Congresswoman Gabby Giffords returned to cast her vote, John. Oh, unbelievable moment. There she is, Diane, in the glasses. Thunderous applause. I have never seen anything like it on the floor of the U.S. House. And this, Diane, look how it affected the vote. I mean, th th this bill passed overwhelming. 95 Democrats voted yes. This was the nail biter. We were all wondering if we right. would avoid default. It won in a landslide. And I tell you right now, I guarantee you, it was the Giffords boost. Her office said that she wanted to come back to vote on this bipartisan bill. She was frustrated with the gridlock here and didn't want the country to, to default. And I bet that brought a lot of Democrats on board. What's in this compromise? Well, the important thing to know is you avoid default. The debt ceiling is raised long enough to last past the presidential election. That's what the president wanted. It also has deep spending cuts. And, Diane, it has something in there for all sides to dislike as well. The deal has deep spending cuts, up to $2.4 trillion over 10 years, and no tax increases, and it opens the door to Medicare cuts. And Republicans don't like the fact the bill cuts defense, and that it gives the government the ability to borrow $2.4 trillion more dollars. But today, they seemed much more pleased about it than Democrats. This gets us two-thirds of the cuts in discretionary spending we are looking for in our budget. Did we get 100% of the discretionary cuts we were looking for? No, we got two-thirds. That's better than zero.